What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back on Shining Resonance Refrain, and we need to head to the castle. Uh, so I was looking, we're about a little over halfway through the game. Um, and I'm going to be... I want to say this video is going up on... Thursday? Is this Thursday upload? Either way, whatever upload it is, on Sunday we're going to have a Shining... Sun, signing res or a Sunday special for signing residence refrain. We're gonna do like a two-hour episode or something crazy like that. Hello. Father, I need to talk to you. What is it, Sonia? I'm afraid I was just on my way to some important business. We have something important too. Please, just hear us out. I don't want you to make a terrible mistake. A mistake, you say? Yes. It's about Marion. Ah, the girl. As it happens, my current business concerns her as well. I knew it. Please, Father, you have to let Marion go. Let her... Sonia, what are you talking about? You've got the wrong idea. I know Marion used to fight for the Empire, but... But it wasn't her choice. A magus called Joachim was brainwashing her the whole time. She was forced to do it. Sounds as if the girl has been through a lot. Truly, her plight pains me. But I'm afraid I don't see how any of that is relevant. What? Even still, you'd interrogate her? You'd put an innocent person through that? I can't believe this. Father, I... I wanted to believe you weren't that kind of person. Ah, oh. <laughs> I see. You know, these conversations would be far easier to follow if we made our assumptions clear. Relax, Sonia. Huh? When did I ever say I suspected her? That's not why I asked her to come here. Well, perhaps this is for the best. Now you can see for yourselves. Uh, Burroughs. You called? Could you bring Marion here? And the Armonic, too. Oh, look, I was correct. Armonic Majesty. Armonic? That's right. Her. Armonic. Huh? Is the Armonic... resonating? Huh? Why are you all here? Marion! Then... the Armonic's reacting to Marion? Seems that way, my lady. Around the time we'd heard you'd brought Marion back from the prison, the Armonic began to stir in the vault. I arranged to have Marion brought directly to the castle to confirm my suspicions. And that's why Captain Burroughs was in such a hurry. Marion is... a Dragoneer? Marion, you have been chosen by this Armonic. I ask you now, will you wield your strength for our cause? My strength? Strength is right. As a Dragoneer, you could save a lot of people from the Empire's cruelty. Think about it. I could help people. I could help Yuma and the others. Like they helped me. <clears throat> okay, I'll do it. Together with them. Well said, Marion. We trust you will wield that power for the right cause. Please, keep your companions safe. And save my people from the Empire's tyranny. Thank you, Marion. So Marion was chosen... And I'm still... Sonia, is something the matter? You look so terribly solemn. Uh, oh no, it's nothing. We have a new friend on our side, don't we? This is a happy occasion. Yeah, I can't complain. Just because... I wasn't chosen. Well, Sonia's probably out of the group. Her and Rena can be the cheerleaders, because... Or, uh... Kinda all ogre for everybody else. I see. So that's what they're after. I suppose that's another clue to the Sanguine Church's true motives. But then, does the girl who controls the dragons share their motivations? That would make things difficult. No matter. I found what I was looking for. Time to move on. <clears throat> You actually blocked it. Those were some real nice moves there. That's not something you can learn from plain old practice. 
One of the empires? No. An agent of the Sanguine Church? Out of my way. You're no fun. I came all this way to find you, so why don't you want to play with me? Come on! I said get out of my way. Whoa! <laughs> I knew it! You're the one, aren't you? You're the Dragon Slayer himself! Oh, you're good. You're really good. Just what I expected. No, even better. I've been looking for a long time. I've been trying to find someone like you. Someone who could be stronger than me. And here you are. Right in front of me. You're just like me, aren't you? That's why you've been fighting dragons, right? You don't have to say it. I understand. I know exactly how it feels. You want a real fight to the death, right? You want a fight where you can give it all you've got, right? Well, here I am. Come and get it! <laughs> Ridiculous. I have no such desire. What? You're... You're lying. Don't you feel empty? Or do you just enjoy killing those weaker than you? I didn't claw my way to the top just to waste my time on that. Killing the weak gives me nothing. But killing something stronger than me, with my own hands, that's where the rush is. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. You and me, we could have had something really special. We could have had the fight of our lives. Don't you get it? The Draco Machina. Even the strongest of the world dragons, they were all worthless. You're all I've got left. <laughs> you pathetic little fool. What? You're a child throwing a tantrum because they cannot have the toy they want. A child's like that claiming to be the strongest. <laughs> you embarrass both of us with every word. Embarrass? I acknowledge your strength, I suppose. It's hardly surprising that you might believe yourself the strongest. You would only be the strongest in the tiny worldview you know, with barely a few years to your name. <laughs> Don't talk like you can look down on me. You're not even that much older than I am. <laughs> And what gave you that impression? You believe everything you see is the truth? I get it. You've been around for a lot longer than it looks, huh? Guess that explains how you got so good. How long have you been training? <laughs> Fine. If you're that damn old, tell me who you've met that could be stronger than me. It seems you judge the power of the Shining Dragon based on what you've seen of Yuma. That was a mistake. Yuma? What, that dumb kid? Yes. The Shining Dragon is sealed within Yuma. It can only call on a fraction of its true power. If you want to know the true power of the Shining Dragon, you'll have to force it out of his vessel. Hmm. Fine. I'll do it. I'll beat that kid into the ground, and then I'll drag him to you. And then, you're gonna fight me with all you've got. <laughs> Fine, then. If you really can do it, by all means, try. If you can make Yuma draw out the true power of the Shining Dragon and then defeat it, I will fight you with all I have. <laughs> That's... Hey, what's your name? Genus. I am Zest. Remember it. You hear me? Next time we meet, I'm not gonna let you write me off. You're gonna focus on me, and only me. <laughs> to be honest, I'm surprised. I did not imagine she would be chosen by an harmonic so suddenly. Yeah, it's like that harmonic's been waiting for Marion to appear this whole time.
I want to be useful to everyone, but I don't really know how to do that yet. Don't worry, Marion, you can learn all about Armonics from Kirika and Rena when we get back to the Seagull, and please don't make me sit through that game, please. Leave it to me, I'll teach you everything you, you want to know, from music to my own juicy little secrets. That last part was unnecessary, Rena. If there's anything you're worried about, come to me, Marion, I think I can help you. Okay, thanks, Sonia. Sonia, she must have complicated feelings about this, and yet she's still looking after Marion. She really is so admirable. Now, let's get back to Seagull Inn. <laughs> what level is Marion? This is the only thing that matters. I can't even equip her yet. She can't even join the squad yet. Sonia is pretty much the most useless character in this, if she doesn't get an harmonic soon, because... She can't help with the song, she can't do anything like that, her okay. health is pathetic, she doesn't have anything special... She just doesn't have anything special to go with her, like, there's there's no reason to use her once you... I, I should have used Rena instead yeah. of her. Because Rena could heal, Marion can't heal, but uh, we'll see. I don't want to sit through you guys explaining what an harmonic is. Okay, good, we're not. Can I come in? Marion? Sure. The door's unlocked. Hi, Yuma. Hi, Marion. Wait. Something's different. She took the eye patch off, you idiot. Yeah, since I'm back to being me, I thought I'd change into something more feminine. Wait, what? She looks the exact same almost. Oh, she put on a skirt. Oh man. Does it look weird? Oh, no. I think it looks great. Oh, that's good. Huh? You're a little close. Yuma. She's, She's so, so close. close. I, can I can feel her breath on my ear. ear. What? Thank you for freeing me from Et and freeing Et from me. Huh? Honestly, I knew I couldn't save Et. I knew he wasn't coming back. But I felt so bad for him. I couldn't let myself leave him behind. Yoahim probably took advantage of that. And then he brainwashed me. But now, it just makes me feel even worse for it. They used him as a tool to keep me trapped. But you freed us. So thank you. From both of us. Marion. Yuma. Hirika! What? Uh, well... Yuma, are you seeing things? No, no, Marion, turn around. Look behind you. Huh? Am I interrupting something? No, I mean, uh... It wasn't anything important. I just wanted to thank Yuma. I see. Yep. Well, I'll head back to my room. See you later, Yuma. Hey, Marion! Were you not finished with Marion? No, I mean, never mind. I see. Then may I come in? Uh, sure. So much dialogue. Um. Yes? What is it? Is there any reason you dropped by? Oh, you object perhaps? No, it's not that. I just wasn't expecting it. Understandable, I suppose. Truthfully, I'm somewhat surprised as well. I cannot say for certain why I came. When I saw Marion enter your room, I grew so curious to see what she wanted. I ended up watching from the door. This is weird. And as I watched, a strange frustration overcame me. I began to wonder why she was there and not I. I couldn't control myself. <sighs> Sorry. If I had noticed you sooner, we could have included you in the conversation. Uh, but that's not precisely what I wanted. I had no particular desire to speak to Marion, but... Uh, now that I think about it, I think I was jealous. Of Marion? Yes. She's very direct. She seems so unfazed when expressing her true feelings. I still have trouble being that honest with myself. So I found myself wishing I was like her. Why? I don't see why it would be that difficult for you. Maybe. I'd like to, truly. Somewhere inside, I'm still afraid. Afraid? Of what? A long time ago, 
when I was still a child, I was betrayed by someone I loved and trusted very dearly. When you were a kid, was that Beatrice? Yes. Oh Sorry. my gosh. Did I bring up bad memories again? I've just been curious about what happened for a while now. We are 15 minutes into this episode and I have done nothing but listen to dialogue. Like, like I like this game, but this gets out of, like, control how much dialogue there is. Like, it's just... it's This whole episode's gonna be dialogue at this point. No, you needn't worry. You were right. I was talking about Beatrice. It was when I still lived in Wellant, on the mainland. As a diva magica, I often felt distant from others around me. My only two friends were my attendants, Rinna and Beatrice. Beatrice is a dark elf. Due to certain elements of Wellantine history, her people are treated with hostility there. What happened? During Ragnarok, a group of dark elves betrayed the dragons. They stole one of the Armonics and sided with Deus. Since then, all dark elves have been looked down on as traitors and kin of traitors. Even now, that hatred still runs deep. I heard there was some politically charged opposition when Beatrice was appointed to be my attendant as well. But Rinna and I loved her like an older sister. But then, she... Then she... She tried to steal an harmonic. The very same harmonic that I'm using now. Then, she escaped before they could catch her. I never knew the details of the incident. That's all I was told. Oh, so you and Rinna didn't actually see it happen? No. Rinna and I were out in the woods at the time. Then it could have been a mistake, right? Rinna said she couldn't believe Beatrice would do something like that. In truth, I feel the same. Even now, I cannot truly accept it. But the way she just left us, without a word, we were heartbroken. As the days went by, the pain was all I could think of. I started giving in to doubt. What if the Beatrice I knew and loved was a mask? What if she had been planning to betray us from the very beginning? <sighs> it's so hard to know if I was thinking for myself or falling prey to the prejudices I grew up with. But when I think of how she abandoned us, I... I just... Kirika, that's enough. It's okay. You don't have to force yourself. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to put you through all that again. It was insensitive of me to push you. Really, it's not your fault. And besides, not all of those memories are sad. I had Rinna. She supported me all this time. Sonia, Agnum, Marion, and now you. It is thanks to all of you that I found the courage to trust in others again. I know in my heart that everyone will always be here for me. I'm not afraid of you abandoning me, as Beatrice did. I am not yet as honest or expressive as Marion, perhaps, but as best I can, I am learning to open up. I see. That's good. Yes. I'm sorry if I worried you. I think I've bothered you enough for one night. Anything further can wait until tomorrow. Okay. I want to do something in this episode. Can we get a mission, please, game? Marion, join the party. Hey, Yuma, we've got a new Dragoneer in our ranks, right? Don't you want to see what she can do? I guess I am a little curious about Marion's power. Right, I've been dying to, ba to hear Barmonium played in the hands of a master. Where would we go? Do you have a place in mind? Galac... Gal Galacus Falls? You've been there, right? I heard there's a lesser dragon hanging out around that area. Isn't that too hard for a starter mission? Hey, it's just right. Otherwise, how am I going to see all the boom boom, uh, all the technique? Anyway, I think we need to get Marion used to tense battles before we go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Empire, right? To Glacus Falls, a dragon-slaying quest for our new Dragoneer. Okay, we're going to do this in this episode. It's going to make this episode a little long, I think, but... Alright, she's only level 28. Which seems wildly underleveled. But she does have an harmonic, so we'll see how this goes. 
don't know if Sonia had an harmonic, I would use her, but she doesn't, and it kind of makes things a little dicey. I don't know where Glacus Falls are, okay. Hey, not all at once now. These things are back to being a pathetic level. Okay, good. We have we avoided the bird things that give no XP now. Twenty six. Target confirmed. After doing all this, I really wish I would have um, I would have played on the refrain mode or whatever, so that we could have had Genesis and. Whatever, her, I don't even remember her name. It's been so long since we've seen her, I forget her name. But the main bad girl in charge of the dragons. I, I wish I would have. I wish I would have, uh. Let myself be able to. Have them in the party. Really wouldn't have ruined the story. Like, it wouldn't have made sense that they were with me, but. It really wouldn't have let, ru ruined any story or dialogue or anything like that. I still would have gotten the conceptual we've idea. Started. With her coming in at level 28, I don't know, I'm slightly, not confused, but it's slightly weird to me because I felt underleveled at the level that I am. I guess I'm not really underleveled. We've just had some slight issues with fights. It always seems like you're just like a level or two away from being able to, to do what you need to do. Like, sometimes I just feel like I needed slightly more health so that I didn't take damage enough to get, like, three shot. Alright, let's do this. Oh, there. Let's get this sucker. Okay, Agnum, transitioning to combat mode. Everyone be careful. Don't let your guard down. Marion tutorial. Marion is a dragoneer who uses the Barmonium. She is capable of dealing devastating range attacks. Her break attack makes her launch a special bomb that impacts the area of, on contact. Exterminate the enemies at once using the wide range of attack. I don't know what level this thing is, but... Wow, Marion, you're really contributing. She does about the same equivalent damage that I do. This thing is easy. I'm not gonna waste I'm not going to waste my my MP in case there's a fight after him. Good work, Marion. How was I, Yuma? Do you think I'll be useful in the team? Of course you will be. I'm glad to have someone as reliable as you. Damn right, Marion. I personally guarantee you've got the right stuff. Agnum's always a sucker for anything that explodes. Fire, magic... Fireworks, now this, so that's why I wanted to see her in action. I'm glad Marion can use her harmonic property. Looks like you're ready to take on the Empire. Okay, thanks everyone. Then shall we return to Marga? Okay, that was like super short. It's a good thing I have these stones. Really save us a lot of running. Okay. Okay. Milady! What's the matter? Did something happen? Urgent message from His Majesty. A massive Imperial force is gathering at Claval Crags, larger than any troop we've seen. Your orders are to move out with the Dragoneers and disrupt the enemy ranks however you can. Understood. You've done good work, soldier. Tell my father we're leaving immediately. Yes, Milady. Sounds like the Imperials are on the move. Yes. We need to get to Claval Crags and fast. Okay, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. I gotta entertain you guys with some sort of episode here that's not just a pathetic fight against a little dragon. Oh, we're two Claval Crags already. Or are we not? Sir Georg, we've confirmed the enemy Dragoneers have left Marga. Our scouts report they're heading this way. I see. 
Well done. Hey, messenger boy. Sir, how may I help? Was the kid with the shining dragon there? Yes, sir. The shining dragon's vessel was sighted with them. Hey, Georg, where am I supposed to lead the kid? What? You're being unusually cooperative. What are you scheming? I thought you didn't care about the shining dragon. Oh, believe me, I don't. But still, I gotta get through the appetizers before I can have the main course. Well, you're making about as much sense as usual. Still, I'm in no position to refuse your help. Pay attention. Our plan is as follows. Yeah. Okay, to Claval Crags we go. Don't actually remember where Claval Crags is. Okay, so it's all the way. So we gotta go right, 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 up, 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 up. Enemy approaching. We'll see. Hopefully, I'm not under level or anything. Enemy approaching. Enemy approaching. I feel like with enemies being the level they are right now, I, I feel like we're appropriately leveled because everything in the game is usually higher level than you. Stuff is usually scaled to be higher level, so we're not outrunning this thing. Oh, maybe we will. Oh, I think we're so much higher level than it that it's scared to fight us. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping that we're we're at a good spot. I think I will. Let's check. Welcome. Take your pick. Yeah, we're good on money, so let me. This one thanks. Pick up another one of those. This one thanks. This one thanks. Let me fill up on regular potions. Nice. I can use these on myself, so let me pick this up a couple nice. of these. Um, then I'm gonna buy one three nice. of those, this one, one of these. Nice. Have a nice day. Oh. Hi. I haven't found a real use for money yet, so. There's probably weapon upgrades and stuff that I haven't even, that I completely just haven't done, but I don't think I've, like, missed stuff like that. Maybe I have. We've been spotted. Let's get going. We've been spotted. I'm gonna go this way and around. I think it's the quicker route. I probably should have saved back there just in case we are woefully under level because I think once you start a main event fight, you gotta beat the main event fight. <laughs> Some of them. Some of them you can get out of, I know, but I think a lot of them you do have to actually finish. Let me see what the special enemy is over here. Uh, it's just an orc. Or a troll, not an orc. Target confirmed. Is it a regular troll, or is it like... Or, oh, it is an orc. Alright, we'll fight it. Can we break this thing, thank you. I do 800 damage for some of those hits. That's ridiculous. 500 XP. It's so pathetic. The main thing you want to do is you want to get link battles with those uh, bigger enemies. And then you want to try to get lucky with one of the eggs that spawn that boosts your experience for the fight. That's how I was getting like 2,500 some, for some fights. Quite a large-scale deployment of enemy troops. We are sending over half of our troops here, but we'll still be outnumbered. If our army faces them head-on, we'll suffer heavy losses. Let's go in there and strike their main force before that happens. Time for a raid, huh? Let's show them what the Dragoneers are all about. All right, Marion, this is a real battle against the Empire, and your first is a Dragoneer. How do you feel? I'm a little nervous, but I have the will to fight. 
I'll do my best so that you guys won't regret having recruited me. I will prove myself. We've been spotted. All right, I'm not entirely sure where we're supposed to go. Enemy approaching. Target confirmed. Level 34 musketeer. Hey, not all at once now. Okay, let's get to the main stuff. I should probably fight something so I can have... Hold on. Let me fight you. Because I don't have full MP, so it means I couldn't use the dragon if I wanted to. But, like, we deal so much damage to these guys, I just feel like we're over-leveled at this point, so... That's why I'm not fighting anything, like... Not at any point in this game have I dealt this much damage to anything. Alright, I'm pretty much full. I'm a little bit short of full, but... Alright, let's go ahead and save here. I'm gonna save here real quick. Just to be safe. So, this is our save point. Alright, let's go, Zest. Whatever round this is, round three or four or whatever. Everyone, watch out! They've got reinforcements incoming. There's still more of them. Do they have their whole army here? Finally, you're here. I've been waiting. Zest. Should have figured he'd be here. Zest. It's been a while. How about you fight me now? Hmm? Who's she? Wait. What? Forgot me already? Oh, <laughs> Joachim's doll. They got you playing dress up in girls' clothes now. Guess the doll's into cross dressing. Cross dressing? Well, I see why you're confused. You still think I'm Et. Then I'll have to introduce myself properly. When I vowed on my eye to break the chain of sorrow, the Dragon Eye Cannon chose me as its Dragoneer. Now witness! Let my bullets pierce your heart, and my song pierce your soul! I am Marion Lashila, organist of the Arcane Eye! <laughs> Seriously? They made you a Dragoneer? If even you can be one, I guess they really don't have high standards at all. Explains why you're all so boring. Uh, I don't think you'll find the power of my harmonic to be boring. Safety lock released. Combat algorithms entering attack mode. Commencing battle. Ooh, you sound pretty serious. Fine. Show me. Let's see how good your harmonic really is. Don't okay, I was gonna say, don't tell me this is a 1v1. Alright, let's do this, Zest. We haven't watched this animation in a while. I can't I can't aim. What is happening? I, what is happening to my okay, there we go. I like didn't have control of my character for a second. Why am I the only one fighting him right now? Can, can I get some help? Hey, hey, leave the healer alone. Alright, let's play a song. The world resonates in my heart. We break this idiot. I miss. Oh no. Alright, Zest. Well, we broke him. Okay, gotta keep an eye. Okay, hold on. Change back. 
Okay, um, I'm gonna heal up Marion. Use three of those. Why can't I change back into the dragon? There we go. Agnum, get healed. Get back and get healed. Oh, he broke him. There we go. Mopped him up. 2,000 experience for everybody. Nice. Trying to run? You think I'm running, huh? Why don't you follow me and find out? Wow, this was just. T who wrote this? I'll play with you all you want. Target has begun high speed movement, engaging pursuit maneuvers. Well, wait, Marion. Something's not right here. Why didn't Zest just attack us head on like he did before? He's right. Everyone, be careful. But we're still gonna follow him like a bunch of idiots. Okay. I guess this is the place Georg was talking about. Hey, Georg, got him. Excellent. All according to plan. You've done well, Zest. Huh? Oh no, we're surrounded. Then Zest was just bait to bring us here. We were manipulated the whole time. <laughs> I'm glad you understand your position, though you're not the only pieces on the board. Oh, do we get to kill York now? By now, I'm sure the Astorian soldiers have been lured far from the city walls. The soldiers? No. Then Marga is defenseless. Separate divisions should have already begun its attack on the city. They'll be finished before the day is out. Marga! Our real work begins now. Zest, capture the Shining Dragon alive. With your blessing from Deus, that should be a simple task. Ah, uh, don't you ever shut up. Don't tell me what to do. What? You offered to help capture him in the first place. Calm down, old man. I'll get to it. Until then, just shut up and watch. We need to get back to Marga now. Yeah, we need to break through here. Wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. I'm smarter than everyone. Oh, oh, they outsmarted me. Alright, well, let me open this chest. Alright, hold on. Let me look at the map. Best way out. It's this way. This has less people. Can I? Oh, I couldn't dip the corner. <clears throat> but I can't outsmart you by doing this. Dip the corner. Hey, not all at once now. This heavy soldier's got the massive pursuit. I, I think this is the right way out, but I'm but I'm not sure. All right, well we dipped. We're out. Unless Zest. About the city. You're not getting out of this one. Oh, okay. Well, okay, Zest. Let's party. We need to get back to Marga somehow. I told you that's not gonna happen. But if you want it that bad, there's one way you could do it. Beat hey, me, kid. Yuma. It is Yuma, right? How do you know my name? Uh, doesn't matter. Come on, kid. Don't you think you should use the power of your dragon to get out of this mess? Get pissed off and release the power of the Shining Dragon, just like last time. Or it won't just be your friends. The whole city of Margo will be up in smoke. What are you trying to do? You want me to bring out the Shining Dragon? Uh, are you really this slow? I guess I'll just start killing your friends and see if that speeds things up. That work for you, kid? And just watch. <laughs> Stand your ground. Hold the line. Don't give them a single step. Huh? What's going on over there? Forward, warriors of Wellet. Our allies need us. 
Punch a hole straight through the enemy line. Is that my brother? Gah! We can't hold. They're breaking through. Valentine Knights. Not good. We're losing formation. We need to regroup. Kirika! Kirika, where are you? I'm here. Ah, Kirika. Thank the stars you're all right. We'll handle things here. The rest of you, get back to Marga. The city needs you. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Let's go. We have to get to Marga. Hey, kid! Dragon! Get back here! Uh. <laughs> Out of my way, bastard! I expected as much from the Empire's champion! But at the very least, I can stall you! Archers! Fire! Damn it! Damn! They just don't stop! You're getting on my nerves! Quite a dilemma, isn't it? Do you defend against my archers? Or against my spear? Death from afar, or death by duel? As long as we yet stand, you shall not pass! Oh, you guys are really annoying! All right, fine. You that desperate to piss me off? Then I'll murder every last one of you! No survivors! <laughs> Here I come! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna assume I can use the item now. Nope, I still can't. Hey, not all, at once now. all right, let's run. Hey, dog! Oh my gosh, we just outran it. Um, not entirely sure which way to go here. Hey, I think you want to. I want to take the long I'll sweeping. Take Didn't work. How are you guys so incapable of killing things? Why does it always have to be my job? No, you guys are killing... You guys are having to kill him. I'm not doing it. I killed every... <laughs> killed every enemy. You guys can have some usefulness to you. I want to say I'm going the right way by going out this door, but I really don't know. I probably, it's probably wrong. Gate bridge. What's her name? I forget her name now. Excella. Her name is Excella. Trishula, are you ready? Ready to turn this city to ash. All I need is your command. <laughs> I commend your enthusiasm, but destruction is not our aim. We will break this city by breaking the morale of its people. Leave it to me. <sighs> A fine battle cry, Trishula. Allow me to add mine. I am she who plays the dark rhythm for your march into hell. I am Excella, dragon princess of the Holy Dirge. King and citizens of Astoria, hear me. Your fate is already in my hands. If you wish no further bloodshed, you will surrender the soul of the Sky Dragon. Slifer? It's a terrible Yu-Gi-Oh joke. But no, uh, the, the Trishula is a Yu-Gi-Oh card, too. Hey, it's an ice, it's a, what is it, Trishula Dragon of the Ice Barrier? Just like the complete opposite of what Trishula in this game is. Why are there level 23, oh no, that's 33. I was gonna say, why is there level 23? This is about, this is, uh on pace to be the longest episode of the series. Actually, I think it is the longest episode of 40 Enemy minutes. Approaching. We've been spotted. Enemy approaching. 
and I don't really know where I can call it. We're kind of... I went the wrong way! I went the wrong way! Showtime! Get some MP back. Come on, guys, kill him. Thank you. I don't know where I'm going. We've been spotted. No, that's wrong. That's wrong. I gotta go this way. Enemy approaching. We've been spotted. Okay. I think this is probably where we should call it an episode, is once we come out of this cave. So, Princess Excella herself has come, with Draco Machina in tow. This was the Empire's true objective. The troops in the crags were just a grand diversion, and we took the bait. The Dragoneers, and half our standing military out in the field. We've been tactically outplayed. They're forgetting, though. There's still one Dragoneer left in this city. One left? You don't mean, Majesty, you can't go out there yourself. A little credit, Burroughs. I still have some fight left in me. What are you saying? Your injuries. You can't fight the way you used to. Then who, if not I? Who else can stand up to the Draco Machina? I know you. No warrior, <laughs> no army could match you and the Knights of Astoria. But this is no army of man. The Armonics are the only hope we have against the Draco Machina. But Majesty... Burroughs, I know I cannot win as I am now, but that changes nothing. I must go. Even if it costs me my life, I must keep hope alive for our people. A fitting final duty. Wouldn't you agree? Albert, my king. Let me go, Burroughs. This is who I was born to be. Fine. I can see you're stubborn as ever. I'm in no position to stop you. But I can damn well stand at your side. Soldier! Sir! Instruct the townspeople to evacuate to the underground shelters. Tell them to hold out until the Dragoneers return. My king, I'm with you to the end. My thanks, old friend. Bring me my harmonic. Anyone who can wield a sword, follow me! As long as there is life in our bodies, the Empire shall not lay a hand on the Dragon Soul, or on our fair city! It shouldn't take long before the King of Astoria's next move. Though with the Dragoneers gone, he has little choice. <laughs> Is that...? Ah, I'd forgotten the King of Astoria was quite the Dragoneer in his prime. I suppose he won't surrender that easily. Well, in that case... Well met, Knight of the Storm, Albert Blanche. Well met. You have heard my terms. What say you? You'll have to forgive me, Your Highness. Words tend to fail me in situations like this. So instead, my harmonic shall answer for me. And the roar of my dragon shall serve as my reply. All troops march! Trishula, forward! Yes! Alright, so we'll kill this heavy soldier. Because he's in the way of me doing what I want to do. And then we will call it an episode, because we're going long here. But I felt like I needed to give you guys some entertainment in this episode other than dialogue, because that's all we had done. 
Uh, all right, all right, hold on. Heal me, please. We're, we're all dying. I don't get how, but we're dying. I got 6,000 bucks left. I want to heal Kirika. All, oh my gosh, it's super touchy. There, I wanted to heal them all the way so that... Can you heal me, please? Please heal me, Kirika. What are you doing? Thank you. I don't care about you, dude. You're, like, super easy. You don't matter. Oh my gosh, these guys hit with, like... Heal me. Ow. There we go. Okay, we all lived. We all are gonna get our experience. Is there someone... That's the, like, side quest, dude. What do you need? Come again. You're the... How's it going? Welcome. Take your pick. Okay. This one I am thanks. another one of those. This one thanks. This one thanks. Have a nice day. I'm gonna use it, why not? Welcome. Take your pick. Alright. Give me the this four that I need. Nice Alright, that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode of Shining Resonance Refrain. Peace out!